be fair, she didn't actually use the word useless, did she? She didn't have to. I should have said something this morning. I was going to. What? I probably wouldn't have come up with the right words either. You knew. You never wanted to play their silly game anyway. Blame me for talking you into it. That's not the point. I thought we were friends. We are. Why do you think I've been trying to find you a hobby? I've been worried about you. I meant me and Nicole. Friend for life, if you ask me. After what you two went through at Christmas time? So why couldn't you just tell me? We've run out of ice. <sighs> I thought we were going to. I'll pop to the shops and get some. Do you need anything else? No, thanks. Oi! Where do you think you're going? Don't take it personally, mate. I'm not in a party mood. Probably not for another two weeks. Is that the date of your next test? Yeah. It's a shame you're leaving, though. I had a wee surprise for you. She's waiting. And she's got that special twinkle in her headlights. Untie me and let me do my job. Right, yeah, so you can spend all your hard-earned wages on your sister's heroin bill. Until I get that big top up from you, yes. Jane, you're full of it. I don't know where you got the name Alec Kasamson from, but I know for a fact he's been out of the game for years. Oh, and the Sunshine Go-Go Bar, nice name, by the way, but it doesn't exist anymore. You see, one quick call to Bangkok and your whole story goes down the drain. You called your brother. That was brave. He's not the only person I know in Thailand. Now, what about poor drug-addicted Erica? She doesn't exist either, does she? She never did. I told you the truth. No, you didn't, but you're going to. All right. I'm waiting. There's no big mystery to it. You said it yourself. The game makes people greedy. Sean turned up, opened his big, fat mouth. I saw a chance, and I took it. Not that I believe. I like you a lot better when you're being honest with me. I like you too. You take risks. Uh, excellent. I'm out of here in 20 minutes. Computer says 25. Mm. You mean you and Helga didn't synchronize your watches? No, I'm sneaking away five minutes early before she tries to tell me we're under staff for the rest of the day. <laughs> well, I suppose I better make the beds now, what? Go for it. So, what's the verdict? Have you ever seen those psychics on TV, babe? Yeah, once was enough. Guys, yeah. man, see, Helga's one of those guys. A fraud and a charlatan. Steady, right? She's got most of it right. We were run off our feet before. Beginner's luck, my friend. And the estimates for the last hour is out by two patients. Where are they? <laughs> hey, where are they? Oh, she doesn't know. Take it easy, mate. You're scaring the old lady. <laughs> Good rich, mate. You snooze, you lose. He's enjoying himself. <laughs> Mate, she runs like a dream. Not my cars are out like my woman. Vintage all the way. But don't tell her Vaughn I competed the best and she's jealous enough already. Oi, pretty boy. Uh, it's you they're talking to, mate, not me. Oh, what? It's okay, it's a car they're after, not us. Yeah, I know. Just back off, eh? Make me. Make one mark on that paintwork and we'll see what happens. Come on, let's go. Losers. <laughs> ah! 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 